Hello, my name is Grant Rowe, and I'm the Product Line Manager for Respiratory Protection with Bullard. Today I'd like to share some information with you about our CC20 Series Supplied Air Respirator. The CC20 Series Respirator is a Type C Continuous Flow Respirator. Continuous flow simply means that there is a continuous supply of air flowing from a grade D breathable air source to the respirator. That grade D air source could be a free air pump, it could be a traditional compressor, or it could even be a compressed air bottle. A CC20 series supplied air respirator consists of five components that must be present and properly assembled to constitute a complete NIOSH approved respirator assembly. First, the hood and a suspension or hard hat, breathing tube, flow control device, and air supply hose. The air supply hose can be configured in multiple lengths up to 300 feet. If your 10 series hose is 3 8 inch diameter and works with compressed air sources and the V20 series hose is 1 half inch diameter and works with the free air pumps. Features of the CC20 include no fit testing, 1000 assigned protection factor for double bit models, standard flex gear ratchet headband, accommodation for facial hair and eyewear, a large field of view lens, lens covers to extend the life of the primary lens, an air delivery system that directs air to the breathing zone and prevents fogging of the lens, available personal cooling devices, compatibility for both supplied air respirators and powered air purifying respirators. Options for the CC20 include hood materials, Tyke MQC or Tyke MSL, lens materials, acetate, PETG, polycarbonate or vinyl, sealed seam options, single or double bibs, hard hat or suspension, continuous flow control, adjustable flow control, cool tube flow control, warming tube flow control, and dual cool tubes with hood and torso vest cooling. And now that you have familiarized yourself with the CC20 respirator, let's prepare it for use. Remember the following before donning. Respirators should only be used as part of a written and comprehensive OSHA compliant respirator protection program as outlined in 29 CFR 1910.134. Although fit testing with the CC20 is not required, any employee who will wear a respirator must undergo a medical evaluation prior to use. For a complete listing of all warnings and cautions, please consult your CC20 user manual. After unpacking your respirator, first thing you will need to do is to adjust and install your suspension. You adjust the ratchet suspension by turning either clockwise or counterclockwise as necessary. Next, install the suspension into the hood by matching the four white buttons on the suspension with the four white buttons on the lens. Snap in place. Next, install the breathing tube assembly by inserting the breathing tube into the air entry of the hood approximately 5 inches and securing with the clamp. Install the clamp from underneath and through the anchor plate. and then secure it by squeezing the clamp until tight. Next, install the flow control device by simply threading the breathing tube onto the flow control device. Until finger tight. Next, connect the female quick disconnect coupling of the air supply hose to the male nipple of the flow control device. Then connect the male nipple of the air supply hose to the breathing air source. Adjust the breathing pressure per the instruction manual. 
with air flowing, down the hood, adjust as necessary, and buckle the waist belt. You are now ready to enter the work area. Leave the work area immediately if any respirator component becomes damaged, airflow into the respirator stops or slows down, the air pressure gauge drops below the minimum specified in the breathing air pressure table, if your breathing becomes difficult, if you become dizzy, nauseous, too hot, too cold, or ill, if you taste, smell, or see contaminants inside the respirator face piece or hood, or if your vision becomes impaired. To doff or remove the CC20 respirator, exit the work area with air still flowing. Remove the hood, disconnect the air supply hose, and un unbuckle the waist belt. To inspect, clean, and store your CC20 respirator, all components should be inspected for damage or excessive wear before and after each use. Disassemble the breathing tube from the hood for inspection and cleaning. This is done by pushing the clamp locks in opposite directions. Remove the headband from the hood for inspection and cleaning. This is done by separating the white buttons on the lens from the white buttons on the suspension. Bullard does not recommend laundering the hood. When the hood is too soiled for use, it should be discarded and replaced. Components may be hand sponged with warm water and mild detergent, then rinsed and air dried. Mineral spirits may be used to remove paint or coatings from the solvent-resistant lens of the 20TP and 20TPC hoods. The breathing tube may be hand-sponged, but not immersed. Again, do not use any harsh cleaning agents. The air supply hose should be hand-sponged with warm water and mild detergent. Rinse, allow to air dry, and inspect. When all components have been thoroughly cleaned, dried, and inspected, they should be stored with protection from contamination, sunlight, and extreme temperature. For more information, please consult your user manual or contact Bullard by calling 877-BULLARD or by emailing info at bullard.com.